Hey guys, we're doing another DYM Create video blog, a vlog. That's what it's short for anyways. And uh, today we're talking about stage design. I wanna show you these stage design elements that we have. Uh, we're working with LED tape. And what I love about LED tape is it's super cheap. I think uh, 10 feet of uh, LED tape is about 15 to $17 a roll. This is like three rolls, all daisy chained together. And uh, it's, it's super affordable, it's a great resource. It's why uh, LED tape is kind of the trending uh, stage design right now. Pallet wood is gone, LED tape is here now. And so today that's what we're talking about, you know, how to use LED tape. Um, and I'm gonna show you one of the uses that we have for it, and that's we make, um, we've got these little poles that are holding it together. So I'm gonna show you our LED tape setup. Uh, it's great for churches on a low budget and churches that are mobile as well because you can kind of tear the poles down and put them back up really quick, throw them in a closet if you need to. Uh, it's a great resource uh, if you're on the move. And it's a cheap resource too. I think each of these poles cost us about $25 to make. So, great stage design, slick look. Um, so we're gonna take a closer look at these poles and uh, at the end of this vlog, I'm actually gonna give you a bonus game idea. So, make sure you watch the entire video. So right now I wanna show you the, um, the framing that we use to put the LED tape on. These are the poles that hold it together. It's just a PVC piping and we painted the center pipe black. That way it blends in with our black backdrop. And then we just made a solid base at the bottom. So you've got uh, two elongated pieces on the sides and you've got a middle joint in, in the direct center. That way it holds it together. Um, and the stage kind of blocks anyone from ever seeing the PVC piping itself. And to uh, secure the LED tape, we didn't use the 3M sticky side of it. In fact, we just used black zip ties. So, black zip ties, easy way to secure it. Another thing you need to be aware of is when you're connecting LED tape lines together is, um, like when you daisy chain them into one continuous tape roll, so you're connecting one to two to three different tape rolls in one continuous roll, what that allows you to do is it allows you to control them all on the same color. So when I turn one into blue, it turns the rest that it's connected to to blue, which is a really simple feature, right? And it makes it really simple. One thing you need to know about that though is you're also supplying the power throughout the three of those. Um, so you're, you're stretching that power in between all three. So what's gonna happen is they won't be as bright when you do that. That's why I recommend that you um, supply individual power supplies to each and every one. It's kind of a hassle that you have to control the individual poles, but they'll appear brighter. Um, the first one might be bright, but the next two that you daisy chain them to will lose their brightness. So something to think about whenever you're working with LED tape, it will stretch that power thin. Now I have this really cool game idea, right? This is a bonus to this to this vlog. I have this really cool idea of making three more of these, but using them as capture the flag um, poles. So instead of it being a stage design, I would hide these out throughout our church. And the idea is teams have to sneak to the poles and change the color to their team color. So the remote, it allows you to do different colors like red, green, blue, and different other shades. But if you had a red team versus green team versus blue team, and the idea is they have to sneak to the other poles and change the colors, maybe give them a three minute time limit, um, I think that could be a really fun game. You could even make it more like Star Wars Battlefront where they have Nerf guns and they have to sneak to each pole without getting shot. And so each pole could represent like a base camp that they have to take over. So something to think about. Maybe you guys can take that game idea or make it a giant event. Um, I'm gonna try it out probably at the beginning of the school year just to see if it works. But if you beat me to it, let me know if that works too. So. Not only are these a stage design, but they could also be turned into a really cool game.